Sports Today sa Power ng Pinoy. We are passionate because we are good at it. We are good at it because we like it. I developed my passion to excel in engineering, for example, once I was at Mapua. I found myself wanting to do more. It's that liking that made me good at things and then I wanted to do more. I left nothing unturned. Dado Banatao, the leading Filipino venture capitalist in Silicon Valley today. Madiscarte, matalino, at disciplinado. Iyan ang power ng Pinoy. This is Silicon Valley, home to the world's largest technology corporations like Google, Yahoo, Apple Incorporated, eBay, and of course Facebook, one of the social marketing giants today. Good day everyone, ako po si Anthony Rivero and welcome to Power ng Pinoy. Ang Power ng Pinoy ay success stories ng ating mga kababayan dito sa Amerika. Mga kwentong magbibigay inspirasyon sa ating pagsusumikap na makamit ang ating mga pangarap sa buhay. And no dream is impossible in the land of the free. Yan ang napatunayan ni Dado Banatao, managing partner ng Tallwood Venture Capital. Ang kanilang opisina ay nandito sa Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is located in the northern part of Santa Clara Valley, south of San Francisco Bay, California. The name Silicon Valley was first used in 1971 after Ralph Burst, a Californian entrepreneur, suggested the term to Don Hoffler. Hoffler, a journalist for the Electronic News, used the term Silicon Valley to describe the rapidly increasing congregation of electronic companies in Santa Clara County. The valley refers to the Santa Clara Valley, and the word silicon refers to the raw materials used in the manufacturing of semiconductor and microchips. From an electronics industry today, most of the leading global companies are headquartered here in Silicon Valley. At kung nasaan ang job opportunities, naandun din ang mga Pinoy. Maraming mga Pilipino ang naghahanap buhay dito. Yakap ang pag-asang makamit ang kanilang American dream. And for one particular Filipino, higit pa sa kanyang ipinangarap, ang tinatamasa niyang tagumpay ngayon. Siya si Dado Banatao. He is a major Filipino player in Silicon Valley. But despite his prominence, he continues to remain low-key. An engineer, a pilot, a philanthropist, a venture capitalist. Yan si Jos Dado Banatao. Si Dado ang arkitekto at nagdesenyo ng mga teknolohiyang matatagpuan sa loob ng iyong computer. Ang tawag dito ay PC chipset. I came up with the very first PC chipset for the industry, which enabled uh, one of my early companies to become the fastest growing uh, companies in Silicon Valley and maybe even the world. Pero bago naging big time si Dado, dumaan din ang kanyang kumpanya sa ilang mabibigat na pagsubok. Money was one of the largest obstacles in funding a company. We were rich in ideas, we were rich in engineers, but we were very poor in the funding side. There were three months where we were paying our employee salaries with personal checks. But nothing can stop a great mind from succeeding. So how was Dado able to come up and execute a grand design that made a huge impact in the industry of technology? It was the thinking process that took over. I was obsessed about, okay, if I know this, maybe I can apply this theory another way your mind begins to explore other things, and that to me is pure, pure thinking. Dado's humble beginnings will take us back to Cagayan, a province located in northeastern Luzon, Philippines. Dado and his three other siblings were born and raised in a little barrio of Malabac, Idig, Cagayan. 
Our barrio is right next to Cagayan River, which is a huge river, at least in that section. But it was not all play for the boy growing up in the barrio. My father was the d disciplinarian. He was very strict. Math and science, Dado's favorite subjects. Nagstimulang mag si Dado, diretso sa grade 1, nung siya ay 5 years old. It was in the same school where Dado developed his interest in math. In high school, at the Ateneo de Tugigrao, Dado's interest in math blossomed and he quickly explored the wonders of science. In 1966, at age 19, Dado completed his Bachelor of Science degree in Electrical Engineering at Mapua Institute of Technology in Intramuros, Manila. He graduated cum laude. Right after college, Dado started job hunting. When I applied to Morocco, I was accepted. They offered me a job. And of course, the salary was there. And I looked at it and I thought, that is the salary for all of this effort? He then shifted gears and went to Philippine Airlines instead. So Philippine Airlines uh, advertised they were looking for pilot trainees. I just looked at it as that could be an exciting thing to do, flying. Indeed, an exciting activity that Dado continues to do today. Meanwhile, while accumulating more flying hours at PAL, a job opportunity from Boeing landed towards Dado's direction. I got an answer from Boeing. You are accepted as a Boeing design engineer. We are now beginning the process to apply for your visa. And when it was time to leave, his mother Rosita gave her son a bunch of coins. Apparently, uh, it is a way of uh, bidding good luck. He later on pursued further studies at Stanford University. Looking back, ayon na rin kay Dado, naging madali ang pag-aaral niya sa Stanford dahil na rin sa estilo ng pagtuturo ng mga Jesuits ng Ateneo de Tugigarao. The Jesuits really know how to teach. Sa loob din ng dekada 60, nagkakilala si Dado at Maria. Nagsimula bilang magkaibigan hanggang nagkaibigan. Well, with Dado, I kind of saw the potential in him. I mean, he was very uh, focused. He wanted to also, like myself, he wanted to go to graduate school, and he did while he was working at Boeing. And I could see that he had a lot of ambition in life. And uh, that really was probably the most attractive part of Dado. Si Dado at Maria ay ikinasal taong 1972 in a simple ceremony in Los Angeles, California. As a husband, Dado is full of surprises. He's a very generous man, so I've had many nice surprises. I mean, it's not like every year, but like my 60th birthday, he surprised me with a very elegant gift from Tiffany's uh, that was delivered by the general manager to the party and stuff. Married for almost 40 years now, it is Maria who keeps Dado and their three kids grounded reminding them to live regular lives so they can appreciate life even more. Well known as a serial entrepreneur in the industry of technology, Dado created three companies before he finally founded Tallwood Venture Capital. His first startup company was Mostron, a company that was created to develop PC chipsets in the mid-80s. However, Mostron was a failure. I went back at it, learned uh, the, the right lessons, and implemented the same idea. And that idea is still in the PC today. That idea is the PC chipset that was developed by startup company number two, Chips and Technologies. Chips and Technologies, or CMT, was later acquired by Intel. And that's what made Dado a multi-millionaire. Meanwhile, following another huge success of, this time, startup company number three, or simply called S3, Dado finally decided to become a venture capitalist. From an employee to a venture capitalist. Today, ang Tallwood Venture Capital ni Dado ang siya na ngayon nagpapalago ng iba pang mga kumpanya in the field of technology. Pangarap ni Dado na makitang umunlad ang bansa sa larangan ng teknolohiya. May ilang taon na rin ang lumipas si Dado at Maria ay nag-donate ng mga personal computer sa Malabak Elementary School. Four years ago, sinimulan ni Nadado at Maria ang ERDT, 
ang engineering research and development technology. Layunin ng programa na makapag-produce ng mga matitinik na Filipino engineers at scientists mula sa mga mahuhusay ng unibersidad sa Pilipinas. Mahalagang proyekto ito sa mag-asawang banataw. Sa katunayan, kaupo pa lamang ni Pangulong Noyno Aquino ay personal na nagtungo si Dado para ipaalala sa Pangulo ang kahalagaan ng programang ERDT. Samantala, sa pamamagitan ng UP Fellowship Program, may pakakataon na rin ang mga Filipino engineers na magpakatalubhasa sa University of California sa Berkeley. They take this fellowship, go to UC Berkeley, work with the top engineering minds in the world, and show them, and there they can learn how it is done, how you do a world-class research, and take it back to the classroom and to the research project they have. So, uh, Maria and I funded the Research Institute in UP. At dito sa Amerika, sa pamamagitan ng Asian Pacific Fund, ang mga Filipino-American students ay nabibigyan din ng pagkakataon para makapasok sa mga mahuhusay na engineering schools sa pamamagitan ng scholarship program. In here, we are underrepresented in science and engineering, we uh, as Filipinos. And so we are also helping here. We have scholars um, on a yearly basis, uh, 20 to 25. Uh, these are Filipino-Americans going to the top engineering schools in the country, MIT, Stanford, Berkeley, Harvard. These are very bright Filipino-Americans. I am so encouraged because when I see these kids, we have the ability to compete. And so we want to support them. Kadikit ng pangalan Dado Banataw ang iba't ibang uri ng parangal. Pero sa kapila nito, ang mas mahalaga kay Dado ay ang maging aktibo sa pagpapaulad ng talino ng mga Pilipino. It's here. Um, my humble beginnings cannot go away uh, from here and here. My roots is what made me who I am. I am proud of being a Filipino because we have done good things in this world. As much as we had struggled as a country, a lot of us, a lot of the, the Filipinos who preceded us have done a lot of good things. I am proud of that. That's why I still care. Dado Banata, yan ang power ng Pinoy. And that's our show for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to be our friend on Facebook. Sana na-inspire kayo sa kwento ni Dado Banataw. Marami sa atin ang nangangarap na maging katulad niya. Good news is, we too can be successful like Dado. Always remember, success never comes easy. Plan ahead, pray hard, and work even harder. And if you do well, give back and help others do well too. Yan ang power ng Pinoy.